I want to give a shout out. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Um, welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadid. I want to give a shout out to Kathy Griffin this morning. She says that, excuse me, she has lung cancer. And she's going to have to have half of her lung removed. She's never smoked a day in her life. Lord have mercy. I don't know how she's in stage one. I, yeah. And I don't know how she found out. Um, I'm not privy to that information just yet. But uh, I want to wish her well. Because um, that's crazy. Um, as much as I've smoked, I ain't going to lie. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Let's just keep moving on. This story, you guys, um, it's about this team USA. Um, I did a story before, and YouTube, uh, I don't think they kind of like, and I don't know if it, was, if it was a problem in my title or what, but it was about that damn, um, you know, coach who was having his way with those, with the gymnasts. And I think that, um, I even think Larry Nasser was his name. Yeah, absolutely. Larry Nasser. Uh, y'all know, so you get the memory. Got to remember. <laughs> anyway, I think it was uh, Simone Biles that said, I mean, she was all part of that group. Too. The reason why she stayed face was because she had to go on and she wanted people to know that he didn't damage everybody and she had to stay strong because of this fool, this pedophile, this uh, sick individual. But Michaela Maroney uh, won gold with, um, I think, the, let's see, that was the 2012 Olympics. She said while he was suffering, she was suffering from a concussion, a broken nose, and a broken foot, which disgraced Team USA Dr. Larry Nasser. He knew about it, and he lied to the coaches. This dude is just pure garbage. He said it was an old break. Maroney said in an Instagram video, then Coach Marta um, Caroli yelled at me saying, why are you being so dramatic? This is an old break. It wasn't an old break. It was a fresh break. Maroney said in her video, she said she also took a concussion and she took those tests over and over and over and over and over and over and she kept failing them. And finally, she passed one. I mean, she's just, she's eviscerating Team USA, talking about the, um, uh, uh, just the way that she was abused, you know? Uh, and, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's sad. It, it's really sad. Uh, gymnast Michaela, she, she unleashed on Team USA and USA Gymnastics over the abuse she suffered at the hands of that pedophile, Dr. Larry Nasser. Recall at the age of 15, she was left alone, naked, while he lied on top of her as she sobbed for 50 minutes. Mm, mm, mm. 50 minutes. The 2012 Olympic gold and silver medalist lifted the lid on the horror she endured while competing for the national team, claiming that she was banned from seeing or speaking to her parents while traveling with her team. USA coaches whose care she said she was left in. And she, she, all the while she was being sexually abused by this Nasser dude. Speaking out in the wake of this year's final vault, the gymnast, now 25, also recalled how she was forced to compete in the London Games in 2012 with a broken foot, a concussion, a busted nose after Nasser lied 
to her about the extent of her injuries. In a series of Instagram posts and tweets, Maroney peeled back the curtain to reveal the dark realities that young gymnasts have to go through claiming that she was left starving by her Team USA coaches as a teenager and verbally abused about her injuries because the pedophile doctor had lied about the severity of them. So, at USA Gym and USOC, ACA, a.k.a. At Team USA, when I was under your care in Tokyo at the 2011 World Championships at 15, my parents weren't allowed to stay in my hotel or even come to see me when I was all alone, naked, with Nary Lasser laying on top of me for 50 minutes. Whose fault is that? That's what she wrote. According to Maroney, the USA Gymnastics banned athletes' parents from spending time with them during the competition, insisting that they were... Uh, they were a distraction, added that she was completely isolated from her family during the 2011 World Championships in Japan, where she claimed that she was starving because her food intake was being restricted uh, because that's what the coaches said that she needed to do. My parents were seen as a distraction. We would get in trouble if we spoke to them. She wrote, my mom would send me packages of food to my hotel room in Tokyo because I was actually starving. She did everything she could to help me. According to Maroney, she raised the alarm with Team USA coach John Gitter after NASA abused her in Japan, recalling how she was yelled at for speaking out about the doctor. Added that after being abused by Nasser, she was left to wander the halls of her hotel at 2 a.m. because her roommate had fallen asleep and left her locked out of her room. Oh, no, 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 no. That's the move. That's why I say about these, you know, I tell a lot of these young girls. Um, I, I, I can relate to this story right here. Um, not because I was a gymnast or anything, but um, once you expose a pedophile or somebody that um, or want to leave a situation. Um, it is their job to make you feel as less than as possible um, in that whole experience. So that's what, you know, and this is probably what she was experienced. Sharing several videos on her Instagram story, Maroney also revealed that she broke her foot during practice as soon as the team landed in London for the 2012 Olympics. She said because she was jet lagged and dizzy as hell, she, uh, she was hitting out at coaches for making her, um, you know, going through the training despite knowing she wasn't at her full of self. She also added that NASA knew about her injuries but lied to the team, lied to the coaches. Mm -mm -mm. So they wouldn't pull her from the competition. Despite knowing that the shattered bone in her foot could leave her unable to ever even do gymnastics again. In her Instagram video, she said Nasser, who is currently in prison for child pornography and sexually assaulted hundreds of young girls, including Maroney, knew about the injuries and lied to the coach, Marta Caroli, telling her it was an old break. She said that, um, she also said that you know, which to me don't matter if it was a freaking old break or a new break. God damn it. The damn thing is hurt. The hell wrong with y'all. She said she also took a concussion test over and over and kept failing until she finally passed one, which enabled her to compete. All this stuff is sheer abuse for this damn fake metal. Martin yelled at me saying, why are you being so dramatic? This is an old break. It wasn't an, it wasn't an old break again, as she said. It was a new break, but they didn't care. She ultimately won that gold medal and a silver medal in the 2012 Olympics. After the Olympics were over, she had to have miracle surgery that she said football players get and was told she may never do gymnastics again. Fortunately, this surgery was a success. This is sick. 
From my experience, speaking up about my abuse is extremely exhausting physically, mentally, and emotionally, said in an Instagram post. I, I can understand that, baby. But you have to clear your mental slate. You have to clear this shit out. What happened to us? What happened to you? What made you the way you are? You know, I get it. Now, I just wish more people would be honest about what happened to them. You know? You know, because it, it it probably would explain why you're so damn crazy and hateful. Anyway, I regress. From a young age, I was taught to work hard and to pres persevere. Gymnastics taught me to be tough, resilient, and to come overcome all obstacles, she wrote. If you know me or if you have been following me, you probably have picked up on that I'm just naturally just a positive bubbly person who leans towards optimism and having faith because that's what makes me happy. So calling out abusers and dwelling on dark negative pieces of my past felt extremely wrong for me. I hated depressing, the depressing tone my life took on and how the media tried to portray me. I never wanted to be seen as a victim. I just wanted Larry Nassar to be in freaking jail where his ass belonged and the people who enabled the abuse to be held accountable, just like everybody else, I hope. I wanted to move on and to go back to being myself, but I needed to learn the power of my voice, boundaries, and when to be resilient. Sweetheart, I think you've done them all. I'm glad Nassar's ass is in jail, and it's a travesty what he did. It really is. And so I want to know how y'all feel about this damn um, Larry Nassar and just how y'all feel about competing like that just in general, you know. Um, and, you know, it's the same thing in show business. You know, they just they don't encourage your parents to be involved at all. Because what you're about to experience, uh, unless you have a show business mama, is no place for a kid. It really isn't. So, uh, I ain't telling you what I read. I'm telling you what I know. Okay. Uh, and with that being said, tell me what y'all think about Miss Michaela Maroney and the USA team. Um, and I hear that that that, that gymnast is going to um, Simone Biles is going to compete after all. That's what I heard. So I don't know if that's true. But anyway, tell me y'all what y'all think about Maroney. She helped the team win that goal in 2012. And she also exposed all that hypocrisy that these people had. Leave your comment below. And then if you like this video, please like it. Please share it. And please subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.